happened fast. <laughs> <laughs> like it happened in like maybe five minutes. Yeah. Drove over last night, uh, got in at about 3 in the morning, was able to lay down in the back seat here, get two and a half-ish hours of sleep, getting ready, getting the rest of my stuff together right now, it's just after 6 o'clock, probably hit the trail here in about 15 minutes or so, having a little bite to eat getting just their last little things all all together put my boots on and be on the way so have a long day long hike ahead um, so I'm just gonna start cruising take our time not not try and kill ourselves too bad on the way in here so we'll see got all day to get in as far as we can hunt our way all the way in and then see where we wind up at, towards the end of the day and set up a camp and if we're not all the way to our target location uh, we'll just sleep tonight and then continue on in in the morning uh, tomorrow morning so and we'll see I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff together and then get to moving probably gonna need a little mountain nap at some point because very tired but it's okay, we're here and uh, gonna get going. Find me 
Alright, we're about to crawl into bed. We're gonna just sleep under the stars tonight. There's Caden. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yep. And then there's my quilt set up. Oh, super nice weather, so we're just gonna sleep out like that. Hopefully nothing moves in tonight. That would really suck. But uh, other than that, we're gonna get a long, good night's sleep. And then head out for the rest of the journey tomorrow. Good night. All right, we're on the move for Monday morning. Making our way further in here, going through a bunch of mat matchstick blowdown crap right now. And then we gotta go up that, up to the top, and head that ridge out. So the goal is to pick our way through all this stuff, this delightful blowdown, and get up on that ridge. And then hopefully that ridge is a lot more friendly to hiking. We got a lot of sleep last night, ate good food last night, ate good food this morning, drank a bunch of water, and got ready to go. So hopefully it's warm, nice weather. Uh, hopefully when we get up there, it gets a little bit cooler, keep these deer moving more, but I'm gonna keep going and get through all this blowdown and get up that ridge and then the, the hunt really starts. Alright, it's about just a little after noon on Monday. We've been hiking for about three hours now. We finally got to a first spot that we wanted to take a longer break and glass. We got the bulk of the elevation out of the way now. Um, so now we're just riding this ridge all the way up and then kind of loop around. But we got a big big canyon in front of us so we're stopped here glassing having a snack drinking some water uh, we left the truck yesterday at like 6 45 in the morning hiked till about six o'clock in the evening and now we still got a uh, mile and a half maybe of ridge running two miles of ridge running till we get to like a camp spot probably where there's hopefully water. So we're 15 hours of hiking into the hunt and we're just now getting into the stuff where it's worth it to stop and glass and look around and just kind of, now we can just kind of pick our way up this ridge, you know, get to another little clearing spot and sit down glass. So with any luck, we'll find a good camp spot with some water nearby and a great glassing knob nearby and uh, this evening or first thing tomorrow morning we'll start picking up deer that's the goal it smells good
All right, well, we just finished our first actual good evening glassing session up here. We're gonna start to make our way back towards camp. It's uh, almost dark. There's Caden. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, the, it's been windy as shit. Super windy, which is really cold. But uh, other than that, the weather's really nice. So we're gonna, we didn't see any deer tonight. But uh, we're gonna go back to the shelter, cook, eat, get another good night's sleep, and then glass all morning. And then maybe midday we'll go up and over that ridge. Look at the other side. Yeah, go look at the other side, and see what we can find. We don't shoot a buck. Yeah, I think we're gonna shoot a buck tomorrow morning. I think we're gonna see some deer tomorrow morning. So we saw that one little forky by camp. He ain't up here alone. I, so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not up here alone. There's no way that he's the only deer living up here in this stuff. So we're gonna go eat, stay warm, change socks, and then we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's mid morning. We glassed four does down below us earlier from the same glass knob we were at last night. And now we decided to come up further, higher in. We're gonna get out to the next next ridge system, glass down into this next basin, and uh, in the very top saddle of the basin that we're in. We got up here and there were six does, six more does out there just running around in the wide open meadow, just feeding, playing around, looked like two good sized does and like a yearling and a couple fawns or something. Mm -hmm. So just kind of a whole, whole little family of, of does up here. Now we just gotta turn up some bucks. I mean, there's so much country back here. There's gotta be more deer. There's gotta be bucks. We found some does now. We just gotta turn up daddy. So we're gonna get up further up this ridge and hopefully glass over the next side into another basin and see what we can find. Yeah, they're out running. I can see them naked eye. They're running back out there now. Just running around, goofing off. There's not a care in the world up here. Hopefully there's five bucks doing the same thing on the other side of the ridge. Yes. Yeah, hopefully there's five bucks just out dicking off. Sunning. Yeah, like they're just out in the bright sun just hanging out right now, so. All right, well, uh, we got way back in here. Saw those does and there was a spike with them earlier. Watched them bed and just hang out in this wide open meadow. Spotted a coyote, and now I glassed up a bear. And Caden hasn't notched a tag yet this season, and he's really wanted to kill a bear this year. And so he's decided he's gonna go after it. And I'm sitting back up here and kind of keeping watch on the phone scope and stuff, and he's making his way down to it. It's, I mean, it's not that far from us but it's a long ways down. <laughs> it's off the backside, away from camp. I mean, we're, we're already in double digit mile wise from the truck and probably three miles from camp. But he's young, he's, he's going for it, so. I'm sitting back here watching. He's got a route down that we think should put him within about, you know, 250, 300 yards of this bear. And he's just down there just content as can be, just feeding on berries all over down in this bottom. So.
Well, I think Caden uh, ended up bumping that bear out as he made his stock in on it. Uh, so never got a shot off. I just bounced over the ridge to glass this other basin. And it looks pretty good. There's like one big pocket of like live timber and then a bunch of burn stuff. And then there's a creek bottom that's just, I mean, super green. And then like all off to my side over here, this whole hillside is just like a big meadow coming all the way up and down from the creek. So I've just been sitting here kind of glassing this while Caden makes his way back. So I'll probably head back over to meet him here in a minute. He should probably be getting pretty close and then we can figure out where we want to glass for the rest of the afternoon and evening. Um, yeah, that's 10 deer, a coyote, and a bear today. Figure out, couldn't get my bearings at all. It's like flat and no visibility, but <clears throat> my wind was being weird. So I just worked in on that patch of timber, which is way smaller than it looks from here. It doesn't even look like the same patch of timber. And I think he was bedded. And uh, I put my binos up somewhere else at a different black spot and I put him down and he stood up at probably 30 yards. I brought my rifle up and I went to jack one in and forgot that you can't open the action on a Tico with the safety on. So I flicked <laughs> the safety off and jacked one in and all I saw was his ass running away. But he looked yeah. fat and roly-poly and delicious. And you hiked a long ways for him. Yeah. It's all right. It was practice. I didn't want to shoot him anyways. <laughs> practice run. You made it back up here pretty quick though. Yeah, it's, it wasn't that far, really. Yeah. Uh, not a ton of elevation, and it's pretty easy picking down through here. There's a lot of deer sign. I mean, it's steep, but there's a lot of deer trails down on this hill. That was exciting. Yeah. Got close. <sighs> All right, so we saw two bears today. Caden went after one, got real close. Uh, just, it ended up seeing him before it saw, or before he saw it. It had bedded down. And uh, Caden walked right up on it, bedded down. But we took a nap and then ended up, while well, Caden was still napping after his hike and climb, I picked up another bear down in that same basin. This one was like cinnamon blonde, had a little hump on its back, looked, looks really grizzly-ish. So I started watching it more and I told Jeff it was a grizzly. I told Jeff, Zolioed him, dude, glass up a grizz.
wait. Rolling. He's rolling. He's hurt bad, dude. I don't think I think he's done. I was gonna keep shooting until he died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not moving at all. Dude. Right on. Nice. <sighs> well. Dude, I, when he started. I think he hit him back the first time. Far back. I think you hit him back the first time. Well, he started coming towards us, and I couldn't, you can't tell, but he, it was like he was gonna get down. Yeah. I, I don't even know if I hit him on that second or third shot. I think you definitely hit him on the second one. You, you think I did? Because that's the one that he, he fucking started rolling. At that point, I was like, <laughs> I'm sending him. I'm gonna keep sending him until I see him down. Right at sunset, too. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, you hit him way back the first one. I don't get the second one, I'm sure. Oh, that was a horrible shot. That makes me feel like a really terrible hunter, actually. Gut. Well. Gut and. Yeah, it's gut. He's dead, but yeah. I, that could have gone bad. It's because he was walking. Yeah, I mean, well, you know exactly what happened. As I said, you know, in my head, I'm like, he's gonna walk out of my, yeah. and I just fucking flung one. Oh, I'm really glad that bear just died. Yeah, me too. Come and see the crooks and thieves Rioting the renegade streets Working for the devil's deed The torture, the work is done A savior comes to save the weak A lame man walks, a blind man sees A inner land where no one's free They know that the day will come Shadows rise Step out of the darkness and into To morning light underneath the full moon bright whiskey and a little moonshine they dance with the rising sun the wicked road and lawless land wash the blood off from their hands scheming with evil plans but justice soon will come victory dinner yeah. yep we're gonna get those calories back yep meets back at camp Mm-hmm. All packed up. Hung in the tree. Bare head in the tree. Probably oh, still there in the morning. <laughs> I don't think you have much to worry about there. Yeah, it's uh, what, like midnight right now? Probably close to midnight, yeah. Yeah, we just got back to camp. Took, there was some extra... Yeah, there was a little bit of detouring <laughs> happening some, on the way back. But. Some navigating involved yeah, in the dark. In the dark, that's always part of it. Always gets a little difficult, but... We made it back. We're good. Yep. And we're going to sleep in tomorrow. Eat, drink, sleep in. Yep. Rest up. And then we'll see if we can go find a buck for me. Yep. So. And I'm not allowed to kill buck now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Off limits. Yep. So we're gonna finish eating. Beef pasta marinara. And then go to bed. Good night. Two quarters hanging.
All right, so Caden is off to take care of some paperwork business. Um, we got back to the camp about midnight last night, packing out his bear. Got it hung in a tree right next to camp, get it cooled. And now we just moved it. Here's the scrap bag. Got it moved into the shade where it's gonna stay cooler. And then there's the four quarters. We took them out of the bags just for a little bit to let a lot more airflow get to them. And uh, we've had like a nice little breeze all morning. And so we got airflow getting to those, drying them out because he's going to be uh, boning them out probably tomorrow. So we're going to let those kind of air dry and cool in the shade hanging there for just a couple hours. Then we'll throw the bags back on them, keep them protected from bugs or anything. Um, but they should cool out and dry out really nice, which will make the boning out process a lot smoother. Um, we just kind of been laying low this morning, taking care of camp chores and stuff like that, just because we had such a late night. Um, we'll probably go down and refill water here shortly. Um, get all stocked back up on water, so we're good to go there. And then we'll see what we want to do for this afternoon and evening. We're still trying to figure out what the deer and the bucks are doing in this area, so we might switch it up. I might cut down and wrap around this backside instead of just going up here and glassing like we have been. Might try something a little bit different with like this kind of half day hunt that we'll have, um, but we'll see. But so far today's top priority was taking care of the meat, getting that all situ situated, and then getting water. We'll get those two things done and out of the way, and then. We'll get back to looking for some deer. While we've been at camp and stuff, I got a lot of country that I can glass and stuff from here. So while he's been taking care of some chores and stuff, I've just been glassing through all this burn stuff, just seeing if we can't catch anything moving. But nothing so far this morning. Um, but slept really hard last night. Got good, good sleep because we were exhausted. And uh, it's good to have meat in camp. Um, Caden's first notch tag of the year, his second bear ever, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, glad he was able to knock that thing down. We got it taken care of, back to camp. He's super stoked to just have meat in the freezer now um, and, a, and a tag notch for 2022. So um, I'm going to do some more camp life chores here and then continue on the search for a buck. Up here, glassing, picking apart all the shadows because it's so hot today. <laughs> Zoli, a message. Uh, it's easily into the six, 60s. It's very, very warm. Um, so I've just been sitting up here just trying to look into every little shadow, every little tree well that I can see into, and just really slow down and just glass for any little piece of a deer that I can find. That's for you. Mm. It's good. It doesn't even need anything. It just needs bare fat. Uh -huh. That's all it needs. Mm -hmm. Woo! This is dangerous. I'm putting my life on the line. That was good. That was good. Just that, that I'm looking forward to the rest of it. I don't know if it's not all gonna make it into the. <laughs> and you have a beef flavored ramen to go with it. Yeah, this is, this is living. Oh my God, <laughs> freaking volcano. You got a lot of fat in there. Keeps getting closer to my eyes. A little nervous. Man, some of these little pockets that I'm glassing into are just like, it look like there should just be a deer standing in it. Yeah. Or just bedded. Yeah. It's like, get like a perfect angle on one of these shadows and it's like, man, they should just be 
If there was a deer there, I would so see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would so glass that deer. I would just definitely see a deer right there yeah. if it was there. Wind is awesome. I don't want to go outside. No. Since like three in the morning, it's been blowing like big wind gusts, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, so sleeping has been difficult since it's loud and we keep getting whacked in the head by the tent. But there's nothing else to do. Yeah. Except sleep. Yep. And getting out. We've just kind of been hunkered in here. Waiting this wind out. Every time the wind dies down for a second. And I'm like about to get up and get ready. And uh, go hunt. The wind picks back up and starts blowing again. My guess is these gusts are at 35 to 40 miles an hour probably. So very windy very very windy this is the second day that we've had it like this after our warmest calmest day yesterday yeah and now our windiest coldest night yep uh, probably not coldest not what was coldest, that? Mon monday night was the coldest yeah but definitely windiest Yep. monday night was windy and cold but the wind was overnight and died down like right in the morning just stopped and then, yeah. No ice inside the yeah. tent this time, though. No ice. It's not as cold, for sure. But that wind is chilly. And uh, annoying. And annoying, yes. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure that the tent stakes are all staying put. Yeah, starting to worry a little bit. <sighs> yeah, everything's fucking... It's getting rocked. Bouncing all over the place, but... Hopefully this wind calms down soon and I'm able to get out and go hunt for the day and Caden's got a bunch of bear meat to debone. Some frozen hands. Yeah, with frozen cold hands, so. Yep, here it comes again. So, fun stuff. Never know what you're gonna get up in the mountains mm -hmm. at 7,400 feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. Boning out a little hind here. Not a little hind, a big hind. Probably just separate this guy right off. slowly working my way down this burn basin just getting out of the wind like up on the ridges today the wind gusts are like wind gusts are like 30 40 miles an hour upon up on the ridges where we've been glassing from it's just it just can't sit there for very long and so I decided we saw that little two-point buck down in here and uh, decided I'm going to work my way down through this. I'm just like still hunting it basically, trying to get down into these pockets out of the wind. I'm hoping that's where some of these deer are going to be. They're going to be down in here bedded or even down in some of these flats feeding. Um, with those high winds, I'm hoping that it's kind of pushed them, you know, off the ridge tops and down into these pockets where it's not so windy. So I've just been like creeping my way through, 
sitting down, just kind of watching and listening, see if I can catch any movement. And I'm just going to keep going down, and then I'm going to work my way up this other side and wrap around the back. Um, it's kind of the only pocket that we haven't really been in yet, is the back side of this. Um, I looked at it from up on top um, the evening Caden shot his bear. I, came, I went down from the top ridge and was able to look back into it. And it looked really good, so maybe some of these deer have pushed over into that. And that's, like, like I said, that's kind of the last pocket that we haven't really hit pretty hard with glass. So that's kind of my plan is I'm going to just keep slowly working my way down and through here. There's a lot of sign, a lot of fresh track all down through all this like sandy bottoms and stuff. So I'm hoping that there's some deer in these pockets and I can maybe wrap around the backside and maybe find another little pocket that's holding some deer right now. Guess if you can't find bucks to stock, you find chipmunks to stock. Let me tell you, I was within range of that one. Could have had him. I'm so scared. We can get it done. It's only like eight miles and a few thousand feet elevation. <laughs> that doesn't feel too bad. I can do it. Now I gotta put a gun on. Oh, I screwed up. I just need to fix this before I put the pack on. It's gonna be painful and it's gonna be really long. And when I set it on the tailgate, it's going to feel really good. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to forget this. <laughs> ever. <laughs> what an atrocious place to kill something. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Makes a good story, though. Yep. Oh no, where is it? There it is. I'm breathing heavy already. I haven't even gone anywhere. <laughs> you haven't even taken two steps. <laughs> I'm dying. Alright. I'm ready to rumble. It's a good thing we didn't kill two things. If we killed two things, it'd be bad. It's gonna be bad already. It's gonna be bad already. Yep. Let's get it. All right, let's go. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the love. How does it feel? 
so far so good <laughs> the but, easy part but we just finished the easiest portion of this entire track yeah and it hurt a little bit yeah yeah we just got to this point and it's so steep off this you can't even see where we're heading it's we're just like descending into blow down hell blow down hell All right, last break over. Packs back on. Five trail miles back to the truck. Relatively flat. I think it's like 800 feet of elevation actually down, but it's just kind of like rolling down. Yeah. So should be pretty smooth sailing from here on out. The trail is actually clear from here all the way out. So feels good. Took a nice half hour break here, ate a couple snacks, got some more water, filled up some water, and now uh, got the water bottle filled up with a couple more Hydrate and Recovers from Wilderness Athlete. Thanks to them for keeping this body pure and clean and hydrated. All right, we're gonna hit the trail and check in when we get to the truck set these things down on the tailgate and it's gonna be great I just hit the truck just waiting for Caden he should be right behind me oh I just hit the truck took my pack off took my boots off it's 345 here comes Caden we left at 8 a.m. just getting to the truck so He's coming down the last like 50 yards to the truck right now. This is the moment I've been waiting for right here. Oh, that's good. It doesn't get better than that. Jeez. What's Whoa. more satisfying, finishing that or finishing your ultra? This was more satisfying. <laughs> this took longer. <laughs> Substantially longer. Oh, man. I am hurting and I smell bad, but I feel like a savage. <laughs> I think we're savages. Killed him at 7,500 feet, 10 miles back. And now he's in the back of my truck. Definitely the most grueling hunt I've done so far. I pretty much feel like we could go into any basin now. <laughs> like, no basin is off limits. Yeah. Every drainage is huntable. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the love. Catch me howling at the moon 